Welcome back viewers to Dragsters and Transmission YouTube channel. We have an 89 Toyota pickup, four cylinder fuel injection. Uh, currently have it on charge. It's been setting for a while, so battery's dead in it. Uh, problem this vehicle's having is it's slow to start, then when it does start, sounds like it's got a miss in it. When you go to give it throttle, it just bogs down and tries to cut off on you. <coughs> this is a <coughs> excuse me, 89 Toyota pickup, manual transmission. Uh, the owner uses it for hauling his wood and trash and stuff like that. Uh, So, this video is to uh, keep you from jumping to conclusions. Don't just yank the fuel tank out of it thinking you got a bad fuel pump until you know. So, there's a couple tests you can do in the process. Uh, we'll get to them in a minute. Uh, first thing is, make sure you got a good battery in the vehicle. This one was dead. Uh, this vehicle sat for a while. I already told you that. So, it's on charge now. Uh, so make sure you have a good battery and that your cables are clean or they connect to the battery. Next, you want to open up the little diagnostic port because the first thing we're going to do is check for power at the fuel pump, to the fuel pump. And if you look down in there, you'll see all these little initials. And you want to find the one marked FP for fuel pump, which in this case is the corner port right there where I've got the test light. Now, we're going to go crank it over. Now that thing, the test light should only come on. I don't know if you can see it underneath the hood right there. Right there is our test light. Now, turn the key on. Obviously, it's not on. When you go to crank it, light comes on. That means the fuel pump has power. Step two. Since these things are so hard to do a fuel pressure test on, there's no fitting to run your gauge to, and you have to make a rig to do it, and most people don't want to do that, don't know how to do it, don't want to do it. Uh, so the next step would be, and I'm not going to do it because I've already done it, is this here is your cold start injector for this vehicle. So get you a 12 millimeter boxed in, wrench and pop it loose about a quarter turn and go back inside the vehicle crank it over uh, now this you might want to have a buddy or your wife or your husband whoever's doing this work uh, stand here and watch this thing spray fuel stand back obviously don't stand on top of it and then you want to crank it over and uh, if you see a fair amount of pressure coming out of there, then chances are you're okay as far as fuel pressure goes. Turn the key off, take your 12 millimeter box in wrench, tighten this back up. Next step, step number three is, uh, checking checking for injector pulse, fuel injector pulse. You, uh, you should go and get a Noid Light kit. They're not very expensive. Uh, you can get them at Harbor Freight. You know, it's just uh, it's a, it's a light we use for testing fuel injection harnesses for pulse. See, this light doesn't come on and stay on solid like, you, like a keyed on ignition source. This thing has a pulse in it. So what you're doing now is you're checking for pulse. So uh, plug in your Noid, 
light and once again go back inside the vehicle now i don't know if i'll be able to show you this but we'll try it it's right there you should see it light up when i try to crank this thing are you ready hold on Battery's dead again. Anyway, it does work. Light blinks. The Noid light does blink. So it's not a pulse issue. Uh, oh, no. I had turned the battery charger back down. So what we'll do is make this a little easier to see. Turn this light off over here. That'll help. Yeah. But what the Noid light should do is when you're cranking it over, it should blink, flash, whatever you want to call it. Alright, we got it. It's flashing. Okay. Alright guys, well, obviously we still have a problem with this vehicle. Uh, haven't quite gotten to the root of the problem yet but I just wanted to show you this three-step procedure for checking to see if your fuel system is trying to work so step one test light find your fuel pump in your diagnostic box find your fuel pump circuit plug in your test light get back in the vehicle crank it over while you're cranking, if the test light comes on, you've got power to the fuel pump. Step two, crack this bolt loose on the cold start injector and crank it over. Have somebody watch it. If it's spraying out good fuel, then you probably don't have a fuel pressure issue. Step three, you're checking injector pulse. You need annoyed light. Plug it into the wiring harness. Now I fish this one out from the rear injector. It's a four cylinder here. I just, these are not easy to take off. So a couple of screwdrivers, one to push in on the lock and the other one to use for leverage to pull the connector off and then fish it through here. Pull it out so you can get it up there where you can work on it easier. All right, guys. Well, <coughs> and gals, excuse me. Uh, there you go. I hope this helps you troubleshoot your uh, hard to start Toyota pickup four cylinder and fuel injection. Uh, that's about all I can really tell you at this point. So now I have further troubleshooting to do on this vehicle. So uh, I'll do a part two to this video more than likely. Maybe, I don't know, depends on how this one does as far as getting views and likes and all that stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching my channel. Uh, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Give this video a thumbs up. If you want to leave a comment, leave it below. If you have a question, leave it in the comments below. Uh, I do usually get back to... I do answer questions or reply to comments usually sometime the same day, uh, though I am busy, so it's hard to keep up with everybody. Uh, so there you go. All right, subscribe, click that notification bell when it pops up, click all, that way you'll get notified of future videos that I post. Thanks for watching.